Uh, I guess I have to. Do I click ready or play from start? I, w okay. I was looking at that too. It was like, this is so confusing. Well, wait, can I choose I my class? Is that what that is? Oh, you could choose my class, I guess. Ah, uh, one of us has to be an explorer. One of us has to be the librarian. Which one do you want to be? Um, uh, explorer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good, because I wanted to be the librarian. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, I think you have to ready up too. How, how do I do that? There's a ready button. I had to click a ready button. Do you have to click the... Oh, I was sitting here mark? trying to click the checkbox. Oh. Sensitivity is so high. Can I change that? Hello? Oh, you can hear me. Oh, geez. Uh, voice chat. Austin, uh, do you have a, a walkie? A walkie? Turn. What, which button is walkie? Okay, yeah, I just picked it up. I could hear you. I was like, how are you using a walkie? Yeah, you have to pick him up. Yeah, I got it. I guess I gotta figure out how to get to the next area from where I'm at. Where are you? What do you see? I'm in a, a little dungeon. Essentially, there's no windows, just a d door with a purple skull on it. Okay, do you see like, oh, I, I'm like in a library, I guess, which makes sense because I'm the librarian. I have a bunch of books with like weird directions on them. That's more than me. All that's here was a walkie-talkie and there's nothing to interact with. It's so dark. I cannot see. I have a projector. Uh-oh. 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 Ah! I think I goofed. What'd you do? I fell behind the table and uh, I'm, I'm trying to shimmy my way out of here. Uh, come on! Get me out! First thing I spawned in front of was a book on a little podium that's open with like a red splattered in it that says between the eyes. So if that means anything to you. Okay, I think I know what that means. Uh... But the problem is, I'm still stuck behind the table. We might... I don't know. Can you jump? You can jump and crouch with space and C. Yeah, I, I'm trying everything. I think I'm just stuck. <laughs> Should we restart the lobby? <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah, this okay. time... I won't go behind tables. 
<laughs> I thought it'd be fine since uh usually games don't allow you to just jump behind stuff like that. Between the eyes. Okay, so between the eyes, what does that mean? Okay, I thought that was simple as just clicking between the eyes, but uh, maybe there's more to it. Is there- do you have eyes that have different colors? Oh, yep, I do. There's a blue eye on the left and a red eye on the right, and there's a whole bunch of symbols in between them. Yeah, I have a chart for the symbols. You said blue eye on the left and red eye on the right? Yes. The top left one is a X with a circle line through it. Do I need to read these out to you in order or? I don't know. I do have the option of clicking the symbols. Oh, then click uh, the M and then like the N one. Oh, it opened my door. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, I've, I've entered a new room. Besides the weird ostrich or duck painting, whatever that is, there's a another board full of symbols. Okay. Um, what are the symbols? Okay, so, okay, so there's about 10 or 12 of symbols here. There's the first top left one is a dude, is a face. I guess that's a face or it's a house with like uh, a house that looks like a face. Let me just say that. I got one that looks like a turtle with a T coming out of its butt. <laughs> and then a stick man with a very wide mouth. Okay, so under the painting that I was talking about, uh, there's, I need, it appears I need to select three symbols in order to move forward. Okay, what exactly is the painting? It's like a skull with a, an ostrich? No, no, it's a, uh, I can't name the bird, but it's got a shell on it and it's, uh, it's not an ostrich. Uh, what do you call those things? They're like a crane or something. Yes, exactly that. It has a shell, or it's- is its tail feathers up or down? Its tail feathers are up. Are its, like, legs splayed out, too? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, so the symbols you're looking for are, like, a fish hook with two arrows on it, and then, like, a candelabra, and then a triangle guy <laughs> on a stake with an arrow a triangle a triangle guy on a stake oh I see it <laughs> did that make any sense <laughs> okay I placed one of them uh the triangle and the guy on the stick uh is the one I did. So what are the other two? There's like a fish hook with two barbs on it. Ah, oh, this one, this one. And a candelabra, like a three candle holder thing. Ah, oh, it must be that one, right? Yep. Okay, I got it. Uh, is there an order to it? Because uh, I got the exact ones, but it, nothing happened. Yeah, it's the fish hook, then the candelabra, then the triangle guy. Bam. Wait, what? Huh? 
Okay. I'm gonna do that again, but that didn't work. Just repeat this, the order again. To double hook, maybe there's a one that- Oh, over. does the bird have an extra beak on its on the back of its head? An extra beak on the back of his head? N uh, no. Not that I can see. Oh, I gave you the wrong painting code then. <laughs> wow. Okay, so it's it's the house face guy thing. The square with the three squares inside of it. Um, the stick figure with like a watermelon slice as a head. And then the it looks like a flag on top of a tower, like a silo. A fl flag on top. Okay, your mind's more PG than mine. <laughs> it's family channel, family channel. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I don't want to get trapped again. Okay, now what? Uh, my room's filling up. How? I haven't seen any th clues yet. I'm looking around. But my room's f slowly filling, filling with water. Oh, um, I have two valves. I have red, blue, or yellow. I have a red, um, pull there's red pipes in here. Did that do anything? No, the water's still rising. Do I How go How about in? that? No. This water's still rising. There we go, there we go. I kind of just pulled them randomly. <laughs> I, I don't think there was anything you could do. It's just, I, by the looks of it, it's just... By the looks of it, just pull it randomly. What the hell? Let me in. Oh, I can't be clever. So now what have you got? There is a wall that says bring down the gu guiding light bring down the guiding light i honestly don't think that was a clue i appear to be in a dungeon this one's oh there, there's something crawling around down here uh oh where'd it go Uh, where are you? Do you see like white, red, and green? And blue? All I saw was a painting of a pit bull. It's just a dungeon that's just very dark. I found another painting of a dog. It looks like a golden retriever with a candelabra for a head. Didn't I just come from here? Wow, I'm so confused. Where am I? Is this the way? I think I'm in a giant maze. Is, is there maybe clues onto where I should go? Because there are color stones that, and I've been just following those. Go back in. You changed my map. Wait, I changed your map? Yeah, did you leave the maze that you were in? No. I'm still in it. What? Okay, do you see any kind of color stones or anything that... Because I see a red stone above the gates. Or maybe sometimes a green or a blue stone. 
Yeah, so I have some- I have a map with some colors with X's and what looks like they should be doors, like gates maybe. Yeah. Uh, is there a certain- I'm just trying to figure out if I should go a certain way or do I just keep wandering? Do you see rooms with, like, barrels and chests and boxes? Um, no. I do run- occasionally run into a door that's closed, and I don't know how to go through it. Like, this gate is a blue gate. Is it open or closed? It's closed. Okay, go back the way you came, and if you go down the stairs into a little room and past the white gate, then immediately take a right, and in there there should be a blue something to open that gate. Okay. This might take a bit. This place is massive. I think you took your right too early. One one turn too early. There was there was no other way to go. Really? I'm pretty sure because I went both ways because I turned one way and I was like, oh, this is a dead end, so I went the other way. Unless I'm mistaken somehow. Can I pull a chain? No. Yeah, it's definitely not up here. This is a dead end. Wait, what? Okay, I don't know if I'm tripping. I literally blinked and one of the gates was suddenly closed. There was no animation, no sounds or anything. It was just suddenly closed. Did you press a did you press a button? No, but my map has like colors on it and then they like go away and I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, I'm supposed to follow those colors. Right now there's a closed gate that's green that wasn't here before. Are you in a room with a red, with, 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 are you in a room or are you in a hallway? Um, it's not really a room. It's just a weird hallway that goes on forever. It's a giant hallway maze. Okay. I have no idea how to give you directions in this maze. Do you have any other landmarks that you're looking at? Yeah, I was trying to look for paintings because those are periodically but I, I haven't seen any paintings nearby okay so there's a door a gate right now that I'm walking towards it's open but it has a red stone okay after you pass that you should take a little bit of some stairs right and then yeah sets of stairs one on the left or one on the right with no gate and then one on the left with a gate that's closed okay okay so for me the first right is the dead end you go upstairs and it's the dead end there's nothing right past that is another right but it's closed off by a red gate And there's, and there's nothing on the left unless maybe I go all the way down. But to do that, I cross the green stone gate. So in order for you to get out of this maze, you have to go through the red gate that's closed. Oh gosh, if you go back the way, oh dear, this is gonna be so complicated. I think, I think I understand. It's, I have to pass all the red stones. And if I don't pass all the red stones, maybe it won't be open, so I don't know. I'm just making assumptions. 
no, no, no. There should be like things to activate the gates in some of the rooms in, in, a, in like corners of the hallway. I can interact with torches, but they're pretty much everywhere. They're, I'm just standing in place. I could see like 10 all around me. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, so go back to that, that the gate with the, the stairs that's closed, the red gate. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so did you go through a red gate or go through a green gate to get there? I went through a red gate to get here. Okay, you're gonna go back through that red gate and then when you're coming out of that gate, you're gonna turn west if you have any idea which way that is. I don't have a compass, so I'm not really sure. Wait, do I? Hold on. R F. Well, if you're facing the red gate, that should be your north. Okay, north. Um, but if you go through that red gate, the one that's open. Um, okay, if you're facing the closed red gate, that's north. If you go th from that gate down through the red gate that's open, you should be able to turn left and then go down to and then you should have a green gate in front of you if you follow that hallway okay i'm confused <laughs> this is terrible i'm so bad at giving directions <laughs> okay if you go from the red gate and you turn Oh gosh, I have to like figure out what orientation this is. I'm lost. Okay. From the red gate that you went through, you turn right. Yeah. That's to towards the closed red gate. Then go the other way through the red gate and turn right. Okay, I didn't know what that meant, so I just went straight. Hey, I found a, I found my first switch. It's a green switch on the wall. Pull it. Did you go through a green gate to get there? Yes. Uh. You told me something I didn't understand, so I was curious because I've been staring at this hallway, the, the green gate hallway. Uh-huh. What happened when you pulled the lever? Oh, I didn't pull it just in case it messed something up. I imagine... So there's two red gates, there's two green gates, and there's two blue gates. I imagine pulling the lever is going to switch which gate is open. Okay. Okay, so that probably means it would close the green gate but it would open the red gate. Uh, and it would probably open the blue gates, though, too, because I'd be trapped in here otherwise. Yeah, if you go back through that green gate and past the red gate that's closed, you should go to another gate of red that's open, right? Yes. Uh, do you have any clues as to uh, where more levers might be I'm trying to give you directions <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah I'm listening back past the green gate past the closed red gate and through the red gate that's open and take a right and then go straight down that hallway you should see a gate in front of you okay um so if I was following down the path like down to the objective I went through the open red gate, and it leads to, on the second door on the right, there's a closed off red gate, and if you go straight, there's an open green gate. Um, so you want me to backtrack as... Is that what you were saying? 
Yeah, because the way through the green gate is a blue gate that should be closed. Yeah, backtrack, backtrack. <laughs> okay. Can you, wait, can you see me when I'm moving or something? Closed red gate, right? What do you mean? If you're, if you're standing there and looking at it, like you should be in the maze still, standing and looking at a red gate, right? No, uh, I don't think you understand how big this place is. Maybe I don't. My map is very deceptively small, I guess. I don't even think I've explored half this maze, honestly. And I've been feel it feels like I've been walking forever. I know where the red lever is, but you have to go pull the blue lever so that you can pull the green lever so that you can get to the red lever. There should be another set of stairs to your left. Take those stairs and hit the blue lever. Okay, I found it, finally. Uh, I think we're gonna be cutting a lot out. <laughs> okay, I hit it. Lover. Austin! What's up? Did you find the blue lever? Yeah, I did. I hit it. From that room, that staircase that you just left that blue lever from, you're gonna take a left. Yeah, I figured because the uh, where I came from, the blue gate was on the right, so I'm gonna head. I think I know which way to go. I need to go towards the pit bull that's drooling everywhere. Actually, this is annoying. You have to go back all the way back to that green lever or to the hold on. I'm at the green lever right now because I know where I'm at now. I've I've walked around so much. I know where everything is now. OK. OK, I have hit the green lever. Now, if you go back through the you have to go back to the, the green door that's closed. that now should be open. Okay. Well, no, that I just I just closed the green door. Uh... The red lever is behind the green door that was closed, but then you have to close the green one that was open to open the other one to get to the red lever. Okay, so I just activated, by switching the green lever, I activated another green door, and so I have to, I, I'm trying to figure it out. If you go back the way that you came, through the blue door that you opened. Yeah and then switch the blue lever again, you can get back to the other green door. Oh, you're right, you're right. I didn't even, I'm surprised I didn't even think about that. That's why I have a map. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till I get the easy job, or at least Maybe it's not easy, but it seems easier than me, what I'm doing. Although I'm the adventurer, so this makes sense. Okay, so I hit the blue lever. Do I go left or right? Uh, after you leave, like, the, you have those staircases, you should turn right and go back through, and there should be an open blue gate. Yeah. Once you get back to that green gate, it should be open now. It's not open. What? I I don't know. 
But there's another green gate that's open. Was this open before? I don't know if this was open before. If you go through it. Oh! I found a red switch. Okay. Now you have to hit that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going back to the red gate. That seemed like my way forward. So it sh uh, can't go that way. Okay, so it closed off the right side, so I have to go towards the left side. Yeah, you'll have to go through the blue gate and then hit the blue lever again and then go through the other blue gate. Yeah, I got it. After you're done with that, the red gate should be open. <laughs> I think I did it. I think I did it. Yay! I did it! Finally! Checkpoint! Oh, great, I'm freezing and there's chess. I'm really good at chess. Um, I might. What am I? Okay. All I see out here is four statues. Well, no. Two statues and a chessboard. And another door with a. Uh... Oh, what's this? Is this a bomb? Oh, no. This is an engine. Okay, so maybe I click right there. Well, I have a, a projector reel and a projector that says the world's greatest chess moves, but I don't know how to turn on the projector. Did I just turn it on? There was an engine, it, I had to do some tinkering with it, and now it's fully functional. Wait, hold on, I think maybe. Hold me! Hold me! Oh, I'm freezing! No! I'm freezing to death! <laughs> I, I think... Oh, I'm a goof. I turned on the engine thinking I was done, and every once in a while I have to press on the, um... the engine motor thing. I think I did it. Here. Are you white or black in the chess match? I'm both. I was sitting here waiting for it to play, but I'm both. Okay. Um. So... Oops. The E2 white pawn moves forward two first. E2. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, I got it. And then the E7 black pawn that's directly across from it moves up to match it. It 
it won't let it won't let me select it. it it's highlighted but i think it's broken can you do it again and oh geez i just punched my mic can you do it again and then yeah i got it i got it this time okay then the king side white bishop is gonna go up Hold on, I have to restart the projector. <laughs> the F1 bishop is going to move up to G4 diagonally. Okay. I am struggling partly because I can't see anything. Like, we took so long that all I could see is... Is there any way to clear my screen? What do you mean? All I can see is just about all white. I'm about, I think I'm about to die. Oh no! No! Can you go by the engine to warm up? I don't think that's doing anything. Froze to, to death. death. No. Uh, no. We got that checkpoint though. Yeah. So. If oh, waiting for other player. Okay. Oh, go this way. Are you freezing to death? Okay, I'll get it this time. The engine's really simple and easy to do. Okay, the engine's on. It's the same first two pawn moves. Is the white bishop the in front of the, uh, the the pawns I just moved? No, your white bishop should move to C4. So that'd be one, two, three, four. The, uh, the rows where they're all lined up is A through eight. Yeah. Okay, so we're all the white ones, like, that's... Well, I know that's the whole board, but all, like, if I was starting from the white side, it'd be all the white line and for, would be A through F or whatever. Yeah, with the queen on D1. Okay, this makes sense now. Okay, so I moved all the three pieces, so which, what's next? So it's pawn, a white pawn, black pawn, white bishop, and then it's, come on projector, it is the black pawn on 7b goes up one. Black pawn on 7 B. Okay. Every time I give you a direction, I have to restart the projector. <laughs> <laughs> I am freezing. Hurry! Okay, the white queen goes diagonally right in front of the pawn there. And then after that, the black knight on uh, on B8 is going to move out to C6. B8. So that's this one. And C. then the queen moves forward and takes the pawn in front of it all the way over on the black side. So it's after the bishop, then the pawn moves forward, and then the queen goes like diagonally out in front of the pawn, right? The white queen. Yes. And then the, uh, the B8 pawn on the black side moves forward one. Yeah, and I got the knight, and I also got the knight as well. 
the knight goes out to to c6. Yeah, I. I and then the I, queen, from where you moved it, now goes forward to take the pawn all the way in front of the black bishop. Let me out of here before I die. I made it. Oh my god, I thought I was I was so close to dying. Okay. I have entered a lovely room of death. Of death? Uh, okay, so there's spikes on the floor on either side of me. And then the there's a book with writing in it, like little sketches in it. It's one of a flower, one of the silo with a like a broken cross on the top or something. A little swirly uh, man, I guess you could call it. And then a triobula, tri tri uh, I forgot that word. And then a guy on a boat. A candle stone is the other one I was trying to say. Okay, I found the book. I have directions for you. Okay. It says, starting from the far east, after moving two steps north, head two steps towards the west. And then it says... Wait, hold on. Okay, uh, so you said, so you told me, I thought you told me like two steps north, but that didn't work. Starting from the far east? Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. So I know which way is east now. Okay. Starting from the far east, you're moving two steps north. Head two steps toward the west. Wait, oh. It's... Wait, what? Okay, I'm, what? Did it. Does it reset every time I die? Maybe. I have two stanzas of text. Okay, so it did change. There's a, a, a flower. Uh, someone left their legs. And then a guy, the guy swinging, this really guy. And then a guy standing up, cheering, and then the house face thing. Okay, new directions. Starting from the far west. Take two steps northbound. Head east twice. Okay, so the new th book here says it looks like a cat. And then, uh. Uh, how do I say this? It looks so. The weird thing that shouldn't be named, and then the. Uh. What is it? What do I call that? The weird guy with long arms and he's got a little J leg. And he got a candle scone, a three pointed candle scone, and then a guy on a ship. Okay, I found the new book. Starting in the far west corner. Yeah. One moves north thrice, so three times. And then take one step south. Okay, hold on. Oh, but not before taking two steps east. Or, uh, wait, hold on. So. Are you. Wait, can you good? say. So you. Okay, so you said east and then three steps north? Austin! What, 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 what did I do? Hello? Oh, I forgot I have to press V to talk. I was sitting here talking to myself like, why is she not answering? 
Okay, so you said three steps uh, north from the east, far east, and then what? And then take two steps east. I stepped on the spikes. All right, new book. Okay, so it's a it's a uh, it's a fox. The weird thing again, and a guy, a J guy, that was a smooth J guy. That's with really long arms and a. And then we got a, uh, what is this guy? Um, it looks like a guy with three legs and he's got really big fists. And then we got another one with a, the face house. What was it again? It was a cat. And then the second thing is what? Okay, the second thing is it's a silo with a cowboy hat. And it's got bushes on either side of the silo. Did I not press the V to talk? Okay, it's a fox and it's a, a silo with a cowboy hat and it's got bushes on either side of the silo. Is this book blue? Yes. Okay, I think I have the right book. I'm just gonna read the whole thing to you first because this one is a little confusing. Then the other ones? The east. Take one step westward. Then start by taking two steps north. Take one more step north, but not before moving one step west. Go west some more till one of this till one hits the wall, then head straight for the door. Oh my god. That whole line was not with not before taking this step. I was like, really? This is gonna be difficult. North. Okay, so let's start it from the beginning. Start in the east, then take one step westward. I did not- what is it- what did that mean when you said start in the east? It says before one starts in the east. Before one starts in the east? I honestly wouldn't have no clue what that means. Did you understand what that meant? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm wondering if I'm an idiot or if my, uh, or maybe this is too complicated. And uh, I have no idea what you're seeing right now. So it's a giant square with a let's see one two three a five by five rows of uh, blocks. And if I step on the wrong block. I get impaled with spikes. It's still the same book. The book didn't change this time. It's the one, it's the one with the fox and the silo and the bushes with the top hat. Or not top hat, with the farming hat. Okay, so start in the east corner and then take one step westward. That's what I did before and I got impaled. Uh, then I don't know. You meant the far east corner, right? Uh, that's what I did and it, I, I got impaled. Okay, my new book, it's a blue book. It has a cat, a silo with a T on top of it, and then a weird uh, square J guy with a weird oblong, oblong uh, head. And some guy that's a, with T legs that's cheering and, and guy on a boat is the book like pinky red it's blue a guy with t legs hold on yeah it's an upside down t and he's got a normal head and he's got normal arms kind of and he's cheering you said it's a cat and then a silo with a t and then a guy with like a J, a guy cheering, and then a guy in a boat? Yes. Okay. Starting in the far west corner, one moves north thrice. Take two steps east. Take one step south. 
from where it was starting in the far west corner, you move north three times. Yes. And then take two steps east. Two steps east. Okay. Take one step south. All right. Continue towards the eastern wall. I'm there. Then head toward the end of it all. Yay! Finally! Oh my god, these are... Why are these so difficult? These shouldn't be so difficult. Oh, I got a new area. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's feature show. I'm in a theater. I'm... I seem to be one controlling from now on. Or for, at least from this room. Because I have six levers of some kind, and then I have a lever that says scene one, and it's a, it's a white lever. Okay. I just moved the middle one, the top middle one, and I don't know what it did. How do I get out of it? I see a set piece in the theater. Pull scene one again. Oh, what? I didn't mean to press that one. Okay, so what'd you say? Press scene one again. Oh, I didn't. Uh. Oh my god, Austin, something's gonna kill me. <laughs> At least it's not me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm trying to help. Are you moving levers? I'm just going crazy moving levers. Okay, I need you to move the scene one lever. Oh my god, just flip the scene one lever, please. Okay, just tell me when you need things to be moved. I don't really see any clues of any kind. Bloodlight. Oh, there's this fancy lever that looks fun. It says bloodlight on it. Do I pull it? What? <laughs> there's like a creepy puppy who's just sitting in the audience and he's slowly getting closer to me. Did the bloodlight do anything when I pressed it? No. Keep that on then. Oh, it turned on a spotlight. Does does it help? Oh, I need the castle scene for scene one. Can you keep pulling that lever? The scene one lever? Yeah. You pull it down and it goes back up after you pull it down. What happens if you pull it again? It just keeps doing the same thing. Well, I need these scenes. This puppet guy is going to kill me if I don't perform for him. Okay, so, uh, I think I understand what I need to do. Please hurry. Here, I hit the reset button, so now that I know what I'm doing. Nothing is happening. Do you have a crown symbol anywhere? Yeah, I do. Oh, I did. Where did that go? I think it went inside the wall. Yeah, I do. It's on the left side now. It was on the right side, but I've been moving things trying to figure it out. 
I also have a castle symbol. It almost looks like an H. I need a castle. So what you're saying is I need to get the crown in the castle, right? Uh, yeah. Oh my God, Austin! Get <laughs> me out! This thing is gonna kill me. Hold on. That's not as simple as it looks. If I get any closer to this marionette puppet thing, my my vision goes all dark. Do you see anything? I see a guy. Oh, it's a princess. And a king. But I need a castle. I now can only see in a little a little tunnel vision. Okay. Okay. Uh, I just started. I just figured it out too. Okay, we can retry. I need a. I need. I have like a gramophone that tells me what I need, and it just said I. There once was a castle filled with light, and that's all I had. That's all I had to go on. A little bit of miscommunication, because we both could have said something there. Because I had symbols on stuff. That's all I had. I only had two symbols. Um. You only had two symbols. Yeah. And just well, I had nothing. I had an empty stage and a gramophone. Wait, what was that line you just told me? The gramophone. Oh. Is what it said. That's what it said. There once was a castle filled with light. Yeah. A castle filled with light. Okay, I could. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Okay, okay, let's try not to die on this one so we can... Wait, the crowns? Okay, I see the crown. Okay, so I have a castle and then a crown. Welcome to tonight's and I'm gonna try to move them to the middle of this... of your area. No. So far, I have nothing. I have. There once was a castle filled with life. Really? The two top ones? Okay, I'm just. I'm pressing buttons, but nothing's changing. I'm so confused. I have six leather uh, levers that move stuff randomly and it, it doesn't make sense but uh, I'm just doing it until it starts moving the ones I want. I see a set piece with a court jester and like two people on it and on the is three people sign yeah that was the one i thought you needed and now i need just need to get the castle over Okay, that should be it, right? Uh, I think you need to move them both further so that they're in the middle. Yeah, one more. Do I, I need to move the castle one more? Yeah, one more. And how much do I need to move the other piece? Keep them coming. 
Still need more? Yeah, they both need to move one more so they're center. Okay. Castle. The other way. <laughs> it says there once was a castle filled with life. Okay. I thought the life was the three people. Um... Castle filled with life. There's a crown, a king's crown with a sword going through, over it, not through it, over it. And then we also have a queen. And on the other side, there's a king. So do I move them all in there or? Uh, can you move them both one more? Did that do anything? No, <laughs> they stayed the same. What did, what did that do? Towards the wall. Yeah, it won't let me go the other way anymore. Do you want me to pull the scene one lever? Yeah, pull the scene one lever. There once was oh, okay. I didn't know. Okay. So, what's the next clue? His wife, so I need the king and the queen. Okay, king and queen, where are they? Okay, queens. Okay, I think I'll start pulling levers and I'll figure out which one is the king and the queen. I don't I understand what I'm meant to be doing but they just don't really give us enough clues so it just seems like I know there's more steps okay. when there's not okay one more try <laughs> okay, one more try back in the creepy theater welcome to tonight's feature show Do you already have access to the levers or no? Yes. Oh. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Put the, the castle and the people out first, and then we can start it without the marionette beats timer starting. Oh my gosh, it just reset it. No! My background is suddenly very gray. Yeah, mine keeps doing that too. Okay, scene one lever. There once was a castle filled with light. 
And then bring out the castle and the people and the king and queen again. I've got a castle and a king. Keep them coming. Alright, I'm on it. I'm on it. Alright, so this is very interesting. Um, so we got that. We just need... I got a court dresser and some people back again. Okay, that was the right one. I need a queen. Yeah, she's coming. She's coming. She's coming. All right, scene two. What? That didn't work. Uh, take the take the people out, I guess. Tell me which ones I'm moving when I start moving it. That's the right one. Just making sure. It's the people. Alright, now I'll try this again. A king with his wife. Okay, it says all were happy. All were happy, all was good. And that is the Le Castle. Le Castle. That is looking. That is the people. Okay, so this is very simple. Once you once you know all the pieces. Okay. And here's our lovely queen. Awesome, finally. Okay, and then. Okay, so it kept all the set pieces on the stage, but it says until the king killed all he could. Which piece is that? That would be the castle. And that's the king. That's the king that's evil. You try that, I guess, but I don't think that's gonna work. Until the king killed all the king. Uh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I, I noticed when the lever said scene five. Okay. But it says, standing in blood, the king stood proud as he could. Oh, standing in blood, he proudly said. So bring the original king back and then turn on the, the blood light. Alright, pull the scene. Oh. No, that turned off the blood light. Turn it back on. Oops. Now pull the scene. Standing in blood, he proudly said. Yay! Finally. 
finally, we did it! Now let me in. Let me in the hole that doesn't exist. I don't know how to get out of here. There's a trap door, but I can't get in it. Same. Is there a crouch button? Never mind, that doesn't work. E. Oh, E. Oh! Oh my, you scared me. Can you hear me? Hello? Go on without me! Go! Do you, do you see the problem there? I do see the problem. <laughs> Who should we send out? <laughs> go on without me. I'll be fine, just go. Austin, no! <laughs> no! No! I'll never forget you. <clears throat> that was pretty fun. Is that the- wait, I was that the I back in the freezing cold, I wondered. Was there another way? Yeah, that was this game. Was the sacrifice necessary? Have we been here before? Are they just mentioning the other games now? We were here. Uh, it's just the title screen. That was pretty fun, except for the part where we couldn't figure out the puzzles. Oh yeah! <laughs> if there's the same thing, then next time we should switch. Thank you everybody for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next video.